what's good youtube uh, rj make sure you say coach rj that is in the building got a new series for you guys you guys been asking for this content on what is money plays what are the best money plays how can i run those plays like you're running those plays well further ado i got this series i'm gonna do for you well i'm going to be going through playbooks after playbooks picking out the best plays that you can run in the playbook not saying that all these plays can't be ran but what i say from rj's standpoint the plays that fit for me the plays that can possibly fit for you depending on your team how you look at the certain set of players who's on the floor who's on the court playing who are you playing against how can you run these plays to get you points on offense so before we go to get in tune make sure you hit the like subscribe and comment this is your boy rj like show some love turn the notifications on we are going to start with the clippers playbook now i'm not going to give you out this is not my main playbook some of you guys know my main playbook some of you guys you know you, you know from the streams you've seen my playbook but i will get into that later this is the clippers playbook and what i'm going to do is going to go through all the plays not one by one but just kind of look at the plays and be like all right is it a yay nay nay yes no maybe so we'll see um but we're going to get into it we're going to hop in a dom game just to run the plays i'm going to go ahead and walk through all the plays that i'm going to pick i'm going to pick four plays for my starters I always pick four starting plays and two bench plays so remember that four starter plays two bench plays because the, the bench can't use the same plays as the starters which is goofy but it is what it is right so i go ahead and go through the plays i'm gonna see what i like we're gonna run the plays in domination i'm gonna walk the plays through to show you guys um easier like more plays within the play because you, there's always like third options in the same play that you're writing there's not always that first option there's like one two three so i'll go ahead and break that down stick back get some popcorn get in tune this is the clippers playbook once we are finished with this i'll go into a game of um draft with with a random team and use the clippers playbook so you guys can get a gist and see like okay this is what he's using this play is doing this against online competition so let's get into it. have the give the iso iso so pretty much um if you guys watched me back in 2k20 there was this one play i used to love running called fist 91. now i seen that the clippers actually have that play i'm gonna go ahead and select that play because and get that out the way so pretty much the first one on my list is going to be fist 91 not high but fist 91 double so as you can see with fist 91 double i'll go ahead and show you guys in game this is just a quick quick glimpse of what you're seeing right now fist 91 double what it looks like but you know pretty much what i always recommend is sometimes you don't always have to run the play all the way through if you have an option to score off of a certain move do it the play is just there to help space the floor for the players to be spaced out also to keep the players and the defenders used because some people like to sit on the center or sit on a small forward and just watch the floor so i'm gonna go ahead and break down and explain a little bit more when i'm in the game like explaining in domination is play, playing against ai so they're just gonna be standing still but i will break it down more when i play in a draft to show you guys how this all works so fist 91 double is going to be the first one we're going to select let's take a look at this this 14 short and eh, that's just more so an iso and a one screen this 91 down interesting actually this 19 is, so this is actually the play i used to run it was fist 19 this is a different one fist 91 double like oh ooh, okay all right so we're going to take a look at both of those but well, fist 19 was the one is the play i used to run back in 2k20 this was actually called fist 91 literally fist 91 that's what it was called back in 2k20 so it looks like they changed fist 91 double still the same play but it's a double screen with it with fist 19 down it's just a simple one screen double and everybody shifts over to the right side of the corner um more than likely this quick 13 pin might be a good one um it's like a quick fake going down to the basket curls back up over over the, the center for the pick and then if he gets that open look right there he takes that shot if not he goes across the screen around the center and work you know pretty much work that side so we're gonna go with quick 13 pin and then the last but not least the fourth one i'm gonna go with i always recommend going with some type of five out iso play so we'll try to find something that can space out the floor um iso two side i feel like iso two side 
it's, it's pretty decent it's a lot of movement going on but you can definitely create so i'll i'll low-key say you know and you can do pass and screen away and go hawks freelance of course you can always do that if you want to make that an option that way you can run five out but you know if you don't have a five out play selected within playbook then try to find an iso play that creates space that way you can just create on the floor and go from there because when we run a five out we're not looking to actually run the five out we're just iso in and if we get to the lane somebody drops we're gonna kick for the three so that's pretty much what we're gonna be looking for in this iso two side pull first up we're gonna run fist 91 double so fist 91 double we go to this right side of this wing double screen going across both of those you know i mean at the end of the day you know pretty much simple Go to the right side of the, the wing double screen incoming now you could do this too if the big man and if they're not stepping up with the power forward or the big man you could low-key if this is a big body screen stop and pop that three right there i'm gonna show y'all we can try to run that again we'll do it try to pop a three from distance to see if we can get it off but this play is pretty much fist 91 uh double i didn't i didn't let it fully go through because we had a lane right to the basket for an easy layup we went straight up to strong straight to the rim so that was just simple straight to the point a double screen from two bigs if you have two bigs with brick wall just imagine hall of fame brick wall on both of your bigs setting that big screen that's gonna be hard to get around so we're gonna we're gonna run that play again with that second option of the fist 91 double just to try to get that three if he does not step up with the big and this is the ai's of course so like i said this is the ai so of course you know it might not happen but i'll show you in draft if i can break it down a little bit better so double screen right here step it over all right let's run it back again see oh see see if we don't got the look we don't got that look we can literally set two screens that play was kind of ugly we'll try to rerun that i don't like how i just ran that we'll try to rerun that but if you miss the first screens they're going to turn around and set that second body screen as well so you'll have two times to go back and back to a double screen and get across so we're going to run it again that way it looks pretty pretty well um put together because that that was kind of ugly that was kind of ugly so let's go ahead and set it up let the offense get down court call that fist 91 double let them get in position get over here watch the double screen go across be patient be patient let the double screen go across i see steps up you got lebron james now see they pretty much boxes right there so you got nine seconds to rerun it so we got to create something create something open and you're open right there get those two screens going but that last possession as you've seen how we were pretty much didn't have a look so we didn't force it but right here so cross cross double screen coming last you know big screen this is when they said two big screens we got the open look for the three this is what i mean by if you don't step up with the big you have that look you got blinders you know how to stop and pop that jumper and get that to go go crazy a lot of you guys like using Kyrie. a lot of you guys like using um Kimball walker i mean i use cp3 but a lot of you guys like using uh van vliet so it's like you guys know how to shoot with certain point guards but if you can get across these screens right here you get that open look all you need is a little bit of space no contest throw that shot up all right so fist 19 down with fist 19 down we go to the same wing you know double screen right here all the way to the rim or you got a kick out so to the rim i just wanted to see what else was going to happen but i could have went up easy but then again i got chris paul if i'm playing online somebody's going to try to block that right get a chase down block because it's chris paul he's short he's not gonna be able to go up and dunk now ai possibly maybe you can get through with that but here's fist 19 double right here so let's look at the floor spacing all right so chris paul goes across his double screen right look at dale ellis and Kawhi. so Kawhi sets a screen for dale ellis on the right side of the court so peep that he sets a screen for dale ellis on the right side of the court now i had a look at dale but i had an open lane to the basket now as i get to the rim Kawhi's man's drop while colin sexton is going to try to go help defend his guy to recover so we're gonna kick back out even though i could quick kick this to dale quick pass back to dale easy three i decided to pass it to Kawhi, which threw me off but i kicked it back to dale for a three so pretty much that pass was a little bit late but if you ever see that just notice the rotation of the man how he helps up a Colin shots to go step up over Kawhi. that's an easy kick back to dale but we set it up to Kawhi. could have shot that too but i kicked it over to dale because you know captain shoe hall of fame that's a good three that's green 13 pin was that one play let me just create up right here look for the screen easy he came around that screen kind of like difficult like that i didn't i don't like i didn't like how he set that screen i really didn't like how he set that screen but i'm just going to show you guys how that looked so pretty much as we can see 
quick 13 pin. Kawhi's at the, the corner of the three ball. All it is is the center is setting a screen for the small forward to come up to come up to the three point line. He caught that awkward. I mean, we still got the shot off, but not a big fan of it. Um, pretty much this play is more so quick 13. You have a lot of space to create with the point guard, but you can literally ISO, ISO the point guard, and then you can like. I'll show you guys in a game draft because, like I said, this is against the AIs. The AIs are not going to react as much as a regular, um, like an actual player you're playing against are going to react. So it makes a lot of a lot of situations different. All right, slow it down. Let's start with fist 19. Fist 19 down, chat. Fist 19 down. Here we go. Fist 19 down. Get these plays going. Double screens coming. Double screens coming. Oh yeah. Oh yes, sir. Double screens coming. We going right off of that. So we're gonna go ahead and do this. Take this double screen. Go across this. Lakes open. Now you got a mismatch. 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 I mean, at the end of the day, if he's going to switch, like what he's doing right now, he's trying to not play with the with those uh, CP, the CP. Well, he's trying to play with Chris Paul, but he's not using. He's using AI to play on ball. But at the same time, when that happens, you know, I can get across that screen. It's going to be a switch with Blake, and now it's a mismatch. Shooter open. Let's run that uh, Fist 91 double again. But this time, we're going to go across and look for that jumper. From the wings so you got blake right there as he as all of them drop down you see that right there we ran fist 91 double we took him and baited it going to the rim with kirk the layup we baited it going to the rim with kirk left the power forward at the top of the key for a three left both of them actually so it's like if you have two shooters power forward and center hey if they're not going to sit there and play they're just going to drop down like that just, just utilize it utilize the screens rotate back good defense but we hey look we're utilizing our plays he's dropping back with cat he's literally sitting back with cat because he just want to off ball at the center actually got your real players these would be some money plays i can guarantee you a well, quick 13 pin let's try it again quick 13 pin set that solid screen kick it out rotate around it all right run it again run it again run it again run it again if we don't got the look run it again go this way So pretty much with this play is it's two screens. The power, the small four is gonna come off the, the center screen. If you don't got that open look for a three, you run to the corner. That's gonna be another screen to get him to the corner. And then if you don't got that look, you'll go ahead and just kick it out because because pretty much he's off balling with the center. So he's pretty much giving me space anyway. He's giving me space to shoot with the center, letting Vucevic be out like that, and so forth. Let's run a play again. So you have to turn it up on this dude because you know he think he's doing something. So right here, keep on sitting with the center. Keep on doing that. Yup. Yup. Cash money every single time. That's fist 91, man. That's fist 91 double. I've, I've ran that play so many times in 2K20. You know, it's like, you want to do that? We're going to keep literally sitting back, bro. Like, we're going to literally keep doing that one play. And that's a money play right there for somebody that's off balling with the center. You got like a small four that can shoot. Come on, that was a steal. I read that. This 19 down. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fist 19 down. You want to keep dropping back with the center, bro? That's you. That's on you. This is your boy RJ. Coach with RJ. You guys seen the Clippers playbook. My best four plays are what I like. Um, If you guys like them, try them out. Let me know what you think. Let me know in the comment section below what other playbooks you want to see next. It's your boy. You need to subscribe.